What up, man? It's your boy NBM back again with another. Like I told y'all, I was gonna be teaching you cats the proper steps of gang stages. Oh my god! Which meaning we're gonna balance out your track today. So if you're using separate tracks, you're using a two track beat, your vocals, if your vocals are loud, we're gonna get those vocals to sit a little bit green, tiny bit yellow, but we're gonna make that match and we're gonna make that. <laughs> We're gonna make everything balance out better, man, to where you can get that negative six dB, maybe negative three on your master track. And also, it does really help if you guys have a True Peak plugin, which Logic Pro does have. So, this is a revise. I actually did this probably like about two and a half years ago, but today I'm gonna show you guys, man, using a uh, track that I made. And you guys will get a better understanding of how to balance your mix and how to record a proper, well, I just did a video on how to record a proper vocal um uh, in a good level so this will also help with that so that way when you guys get ready to mix in your music you got enough headroom to get ready for your masters if you're new to the channel thank you for stopping by hit that subscribe button also tap that bell notification that'll keep you in tune with all the latest content i drop leave a comment below double tap that like button let me know what you think and uh what you want to learn and um we'll get to it but without further ado let's tap into the tutorial it's your boy nbm ain't got shit else to say <laughs> let's do it all right so cool we right here with the track man so pretty much let's just say man your wave files don't look like this your wave files pretty much look like this and most of the time when we making beats with midi it tends to look like this so you may have something that look like this you know and it's and it's super loud so let's play it And as you can see, our master fader is like clipping super red. And then on your master fader, what you want to add is a level meter, but put it under the adaptive uh, limiter meter. And then what you want to set it to is peak and RMS, because this is what we're going to be paying attention to. Now, when I record my vocals, I like for my beat to sit around negative 12 around that area. So I got pretty much a lot of headroom to play around with plugins and stuff like that with my master. So, so you know, let's just say that your, your mix looks like this when you're done making your beat or whatever and you you're trying to figure out how to get those levels to blend in good you got all this peaking up here everything is peaking right here this is pretty much gang staging this is what gang staging is so we want to get this from looking like this to pretty much in a green at least to around negative 12 if we can with the 808 because we're going to be using plugins to put on the 808 to bring it up more. So in order to get a balanced mix and to get everything looking green again, you definitely want to go over here. Now Logic has in region, there's a game, there's a game part where you can, you know, actually turn, turn things down. So if it's looking like that, definitely bring it down. And then what you want to do is just bring it down to where you start seeing this hitting, your, your meters are starting to hit green a little bit. So, you know, around negative 12 is pretty good for the kick in the 808. So let's bring, let's bring, let's bring it down a little bit. So I'm gonna actually bring it down again. I'm gonna bring it down a little more. Like I said, you just want it to tap green. You don't want it to be in a red. You just want to get like a nice balance of green going across those meters. So that way it'll be a little bit easier to mix for you and it's, it's, you know, you won't get a lot of distortion in your mix. So let's just bring it down a little bit more. And, that, and that'll be perfectly cool right there. You can even bring it down just a little bit more. That way, you know, like I said, you want to give yourself enough headroom in your mix, especially on your master fader. You want to give yourself some headroom so when it comes down to you mastering your song, you can pretty much master your song and you don't have to worry about your song clipping and you seeing a whole lot of red and you getting scared. So that's the first one. And that's perfectly fine right there. As you can see on our master meter is negative 13.7. And then we'll head over to the uh, clap as well. Now what we want to do, we just want to bring that, we want to bring that clap down so that way everything will be hitting in the green. So let's turn that, let's turn the clap down just a little bit. So we got to click on the track of the clap and bring that down just a little bit. And then let's just make sure we in the green. Just bring it down a little bit more. About right here. And 
And that's perfectly fine right there, man. My grandson is just knocking on the door, but I may ignore the little man. So, um, yeah, bring the clap by bye right there. And uh, the same thing with the next track. You're going to do the same thing with the next track. This is the, uh, is this the, uh, the kick. I'm not sure. Let's see. So that's the hi-hat. And the good thing about that is, is it all, it's already balanced. So you don't even have to mess with that. You just want to go through the tracks to make sure the, the ones that are clipping red, you want to just gain stage those to green. So let's play this one. And... Hey, yo, Zaire, go away from my door, man. I'm trying to, I'm recording, brother. Not right now. Wait, just wait a minute, Kay. All right, just wait a minute. Man, he, he, he like attached to me, bro. So, so as we see, that one's balanced pretty well. Now let's go over to the next one. But like I said, you'll know if they're unbalanced, they'll be, you know, like I said, they'll, they'll look like this. They'll look like that. So you definitely want to bring those down to where you start getting a little bit green going on with those faders. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next one. That one's fine. Actually, I don't see anything on this one. I might have to bring that back over. That one didn't bounce over, so that's fine. We don't need that right now. We're just learning how to gain stage. That way, you won't have a problem when it comes to mixing. So we're definitely going to bring that down a little bit. So if you're in Ableton and anything like that, you're going to actually just double click on the file and you'll see gain on the side. The same with like uh, Pro Tools is actually on the track. You'll just click right here and you'll see a line right here. Just bring that line down and that'll be gain staging your beat. Studio One is the same way. Uh, most of the dolls are the same way. So these, these have like uh, gain buttons and stuff like that, well as uh, Fruity Loops. And um... So let's bring this one down a little bit. So that's fine with me right there. Like I said, we just want to get like we just want to we want to get that nice green like the color of our dollars, you know what I mean? So let's go over to the next one. That's perfectly fine right there. Let's go over to the next one. Let's actually bring this back a little bit. So we definitely gonna turn that down. Let's click on this one. It's, it's simple, man, that's why I'm going so fast. Just a little more. And then let's play the whole beat. Now, what I want you to do before you play the beat, in Logic, they have a plug-in called Adaptive Limiter. So you're going to go to Adaptive Limiter, click on Stereo. Now you're going to take this, and you're going to turn on True Peak. That's all you're going to do. Make sure you take the gain. It's going to be up at 3.0. Just turn it down. You don't want that on. But turn on True Peak, and then we're going to balance out our mix right now. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to mix it, but when I'm gang staging, I want to get my separate track beat to a level to where I can record to where I'm comfortable at, where I'm comfortable at recording and it sounds good to me. So once I get my gang staging right now, I'm going to start mixing my beat. I'm going to mix my beat and then I'm going to lay my vocals to it and then I'm going to sit my vocals through that track and it makes things just so much better. And then I'm going to do a video on two track versus separate track beats, man, because I get a lot of people asking me what's the difference. I'm going to get you I'm going to get you the difference real soon. And um, 
that's pretty much how you gain stage, man. It's, it's, it's super simple, man. It, it may sound hard, but that's how you gain stage your beat, and you can do that with any dog. It's your boy, NBM. I hope y'all learned something, and I hope I taught y'all something really well. Y'all take care. Have a blessed one. I'm out.